All right, welcome back everybody. This is Eric here with Iraq Veteran 8888. Today we have a very special treat for you. I am here in Brunel, Iowa at the Brownells facility, the new retail facility, and I have a very special rifle to show you guys. This is not a reproduction uh, Quigley uh, Sharps rifle. This is the Matthew Quigley Sharps rifle actually used in the movie Quigley Down Under. Uh, this rifle was a gift to the Brownells family from Mr. Tom Selleck, who is a uh, man I respect very much. He's a pro Second Amendment guy. He's a, you know, he's a gun guy. So here, there it is. So we've got the lettering on the side, MQ, for the character in the movie who was Matthew Quigley. All right, so this is the... Uh, Shiloh Sharps Quigley Rifle, 45-110. Got your veneer peep sight in the back, which uh, Tom Selleck was famous for adjusting and using in the movie. And uh, one thing you can't really um, tell in this video, the heft of this rifle. It is a big, menacing, honking rifle. But I'll tell you what, I can see where this thing would just be an awesome shooter. 45-110. So remember in the movie, he mentioned experimental gun, experimental cartridge. At the time that the, the movie Quigley Down Under was set in, this definitely would have been something that was kind of odd, you know, back then in terms of the time, especially the cartridge, you know. So it's, it's definitely, especially in that part of the world too, but the movie's great. It's a classic movie, and this rifle actually bears uh, some pretty important significance to me as a shooter because growing up, you know, I was kind of an 80s baby, and my mom would put on Quigley Down Under, and uh, would basically <laughs> babysit me with the Quigley Down Under movie. So I remember Tom Selleck shooting all kind of different stuff and, and doing all kind of different things. So uh, it's just awesome. So this is, you know, literally serial number 8886, which was the gun that was, you know, um, ordered, I guess, for Tom Selleck for the movie. And it became Tom Selleck's personal property. And then Tom Selleck uh, gave it to the Brownells family. So that's very awesome. Here we have the original rifle scabbard that was used uh, in the movie. So this is the actual scabbard that Tom Selleck was drawing the rifle from. Or when you've seen him carrying the rifle around in town or whenever, and you saw that fringed uh, rifle sleeve scabbard, if you will, there it is. That's the one from the movie. This is the actual movie prop. The brass here, we've got some bell 45-110 uh, cases. These were the actual cases used and fired in the movie. All right, so that is pretty freaking cool. This is Quigley's cartridge belt and knife. Now, obviously, the knife doesn't really have an edge on it, but these are the actual props used in the movie. So you've got his belt, the cartridges, which you can see have been there for a minute. They're starting to get some uh, corrosion on them from being against the leather for so long. you got to think, that movie was made some time ago, so it's, it's an older movie. Uh, here, also, we have the dummy barrel that was produced for... A lot of the scenes where Tom Selleck would be firing the rifle offhand, this is a very, very heavy rifle to fire offhand. And in the big scheme of things, traditionally, you probably would not fire this rifle offhand very much. Now, you could, I'm sure, but traditionally, this rifle would probably be rested somewhere. You'd be laying in the prone, or you'd have some shooting sticks, or some type of like hasty shooting rest that you would put together, some form of shooting stick. Uh, this is definitely not the kind of rifle you're going to shoot offhand um, a lot. So in the movie, you know, they're trying to portray Matthew Quigley as, as the rifleman's rifleman. And this guy that can just handle a rifle and kill anything he can see. I'm not going to give away the story of the movie. If you haven't seen the movie, you need to check out Quigley Down Under. It's a really cool movie. Um, also, another actor that's in the movie Quigley Down Under is Alan Rickman. Uh, you guys probably uh, recall Alan Rickman. He played Snape in Harry Potter. Uh, sadly, Alan Rickman is no longer with us. Um, you know, he passed recently. And, and I tell you, Alan Rickman's also another actor that I look up to a lot uh, in the film industry. I mean, he was just such a wonderful man. I, uh, unfortunately, I never got to meet him. I've never met Tom Selleck either, but I look up to Tom Selleck quite a bit as an actor, uh, not only for his acting uh, prowess, but also for his views on the Second Amendment, which I, you know, think are very important for a mainstream actor to be like, hey, you know, yeah, I'm a famous actor, but yes, I also support guns. And, and I think very highly of Tom Selleck for that reason. He's one of those guys that's just a tried and true, you know, good old school American actor, which you, you know, have to appreciate. 
But with Alan Rickman, you know, in this movie, he played the bad guy. And I can't really think of any other roles where Alan Rickman actually played the bad guy. And, and he played it so well, you know. Well, I guess he was the sheriff of uh, Nottingham, wasn't he? So he, he, he's been the bad guy before. But in this movie, I'm not going to give the, the whole story away if you haven't seen the movie. But Alan Rickman is the bad guy. And uh, Tom Selleck and Alan Rickman eventually show down. And I'm not going to tell you how it ends if you haven't seen it. But... Alan Rickman, we definitely miss him as an actor. He was, he was just a cool guy and, and just really gave so much life to the roles, um, you know, in the movies that he was in. And, and I very much well respected him as an actor, and I'm sad to see him gone. But anyway, this is an awesome opportunity to get to show this rifle off. This is not something that people get to see very often, so we thought that it would be fun to show you an actual rifle, you know, used as a movie prop in the movie Quigley Down Under. So this is the rifle and you know this is kind of uh, one of the things I can definitely scratch off my list. Um, interesting gun. Now now here's another thing. The uh, uh, Sharps Company, they actually, or the uh, Shiloh Sharps Company, they still produce uh, a copy of this rifle. You can actually still buy the Quigley model rifle. They are out there but you can't get the Quigley and that's what we've got here, is the real deal, Quigley Down Under, Shiloh Sharps, 45 110. That's just neat. So we thought we'd show this off. Um, unfortunately, we're not going to get to fire it. Uh, I don't even know if the Brownells family wants to fire it at all. But that's awesome that Tom Selleck gifted this rifle, because I guess he saw a need for it to be somewhere where it would be appreciated by people and everything. So I think this rifle is eventually going to be on display somewhere. I'm not sure where, if it's going to wind up in a museum somewhere, if it'll wind up here on the grounds where the public can come in and maybe see it, you know, somewhere on display. But there she is. Guys, thanks for watching. I just want to take a quick moment to explain a little bit about my affinity for the movie Quigley Down Under and to show off this awesome piece of Hollywood memorabilia from that movie that involves uh, just wonderful guy, Tom Selleck. So Thanks for watching, and also thanks to the Brownells family for, uh, I mean, I'm literally in Pete Brownell's office right now, and, you know, I'm commandeering his office to make this video. Thanks to the, their family as well for allowing me to show you guys this rifle. So thank you for watching. We'll catch you next time. Many more videos on the way.